Good early Saturday morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I hope you find my information useful. This morning, while everyone is sleeping, I am going to make a cinnamon roll casserole. I saw it last week. Jen's WW Journey um, prepared it in her meal prep. I saw it and it looked fabulous. So I decided to try it. It is from the Pound Dropper website. So I'm gonna make it as a special treat for my family this morning. So let's get started. In this bowl, we have two and a half cups of self-rising flour. And to that, we are going to add three quarters of a cup of your favorite zero point sweetener. I'm not a huge fan of artificial sweeteners, but that being said, if I wanna make stuff like this, there's no way I can afford point-wise to put sugar in it. So I started doing a little bit of research, seeing what was out there, seeing what I felt comfortable with, and decided to go with Swerve Sugar Replacement. They have granulated sugar, brown sugar, and powdered sugar. It's non-GMO. It uses sugar alcohols versus um, other things that other, um, artificial sweeteners use. So I am going to give this a try and see how I like it. So with that, we have three quarters of a cup of that. And then we are going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla. Should have done the cinnamon first. A teaspoon of cinnamon. And a little bit more because it's stuck to the wet spoon. Two large eggs. And two teaspoons of the Land O'Lakes Light Butter Melted. And then we are just going to whisk that all together. As I was whisking it, and I was thinking it was awfully thick, it dawned on me I forgot the one cup of almond milk. I told you, it's early on a Saturday morning. That's much better. Okay, now we are just going to pour that mixture into a nine by 13 casserole dish that we've sprayed with nonstick spray. I gotta tell you, it smells delicious. I am so looking forward to this this morning. Okay, the next thing we need to do is mix together the cinnamon swirl topping. So we have two tablespoons of flour, a quarter cup of the swerve brown sugar, if it doesn't want to come out, there we go, then a tablespoon of cinnamon. and two tablespoons of melted light butter. Just gonna mix all that up. Thank you. 
and then it calls for a splash of almond milk. I'm going to start with a little less than a tablespoon. And now you just take this and drop spoonfuls of it over the base batter. And then take a knife and swirl it through. Now we will bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. If the smell of this does not wake up my sleepyhead family, I don't know what will because it does smell delicious. So in the oven it goes. Okay guys, here is our cinnamon roll casserole out of the oven. I let it cool for five minutes and what are cinnamon rolls without icing? So the next thing we're gonna do is make an icing to put on top. The original recipe calls for three tablespoons of sugar-free frosting in a can. I don't have any of that and I wanted to make my own. So keeping the points exactly the same, I'm going to make my own. I have a half a cup of the whipped cream cheese. I use the Aldi brand. And to that, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of the Swerve confectionery sugar. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I put the cream cheese in the microwave for about 30 seconds to get it nice and soft. And then I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of the almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. Okay, probably should have only added one because it is a little bit runny. That's okay. And now I'm just going to drizzle this over the top. Get all that deliciousness out of the bowl. Spread it out. And I'm gonna let that set for a little bit. And then I will cut it into 12 pieces. And each piece, guys, is only four freestyle smart points. Which I think is a fantastic number for something as decadent as this looks. And there we have it, our cinnamon roll casserole. 
I will link the recipe on Pound Dropper's website below. And I will also link the um, Jen's WW Journey, her YouTube channel. She has some really, really great recipes and ideas and I watch her all the time and get a lot of my ideas from her. So go over and take a look at her. Have a great Saturday, guys. I will see you tomorrow for meal prep.